The verbs saber y conocer both mean to know. So how do you know when to use the right one? Ya me conoces. Soy Adriana, embajadora de marca con Spanish 55. Here on the Spanish 55 YouTube channel, we strive to take your Spanish speaking skills to the next level. Through every video, we want to take you closer to fluency. Hit subscribe if you like the sound of that. Now, are you ready to never doubt yourself when using saber or conocer? Let's get this party going, shall we? Saber and conocer have a fairly straightforward role in the Spanish language. So guess what? This lesson won't be so difficult. There is one situation where you can use them interchangeably. More on that at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. Let's learn how they are normally used first. So what's the difference? Pay close attention or write this down. Saber is used with facts, information, and when telling how to do something. Conocer is used to talk about people, places, and things that you are familiar with or acquainted with. So deciding which one to use depends entirely on what it is that you know. Now let's go over some examples for each one. Cuando sabes sobre cosas como hechos científicos, eventos o trivia general, entonces usa saber de la siguiente manera. When knowing about facts, events, or trivia in general, use saber like this. Yo sé dónde está California en el mapa. I know where California is on the map. ¿Sabes que los delfines duermen con un ojo abierto? Did you know that dolphins sleep with one eye open? Sean sabe muchos lenguajes. Sean knows many languages. Si tienes conocimiento sobre cualquier información general, que pueda ser útil como dónde se encuentra algo, cuándo va a partir un vuelo o el estado de una situación, también se usa saber. Saber is also used when knowing general information, like this. ¿Sabes a qué hora sale el avión? Do you know what time the plane leaves? ¿Sabes dónde puedo encontrar la plaza mayor? Do you know where I can find the Plaza Mayor? Sí, ya sé que la reunión empieza a las 12 en punto. Yes, I know that the meeting starts at 12 o'clock sharp. El tercer uso de saber es cuando quieres hablar sobre habilidades o áreas específicas de especialización. The third use of saber is when you want to talk about specific skills or areas of expertise. I know how to speak three languages. Sé hablar tres idiomas. ¿Cuántos idiomas sabes? How many languages do you know? Mi mamá sabe nado sincronizado. My mom knows synchronized swimming. Se utiliza el verbo conocer cuando hablas de personas. When using conocer to speak about people, always remember to include the preposition a. Conozco a tu hermana Natalia. I know your sister Natalia. Pero no conoces a Isabela? Es mi otra hermana. But you don't know Isabela? She's my other sister. Pero si hablas de lugares, debes recordar eliminar la preposición a. Conozco el puente de Lego en Alemania. I have been to or I am familiar with the Lego Bridge in Germany. No conozco Argentina. I haven't been to Argentina. Pero sí conozco Colombia, México, Cuba y Costa Rica. But I've been to Colombia, México, Cuba and Costa Rica. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué países hispanohablantes conoces? And you, what Spanish speaking countries do you know? Let me know in the comments. El último uso de conocer es para describir tu conocimiento sobre cosas. The last use of conocer is for describing your knowledge of things. Conozco los pixel buds de Google que traducen los idiomas en tiempo real, pero nunca los he usado. 
I know of the Google Pixel Buds that translate language in real time, but I've never used them. Ella conoce la Mona Lisa. She knows or she's seen the Mona Lisa. ¿Conoces la Torre Eiffel? Do you know the Eiffel Tower? Ojalá hasta este punto la distinción entre saber y conocer debe haber sido bastante clara. Hopefully, up to this point, the distinction between saber and conocer is pretty clear. There is, however, one area where you might notice an overlap between the two verbs in Spanish. Or when they are used, there's a little bit of an overlap. But anyway, here we go. Let's talk about it. You can see saber and conocer used interchangeably when talking about abstract ideas. Abstract ideas are concepts, feelings, and qualities such as love, freedom, confidence, happiness, God, and faith, etc. For example, the motivational speaker wants to know the secret to happiness. La oradora motivacional quiere saber los secretos de la felicidad. Or you can use conocer. La oradora motivacional quiere conocer los secretos de la felicidad. There's a subtle difference in meaning between these two sentences in Spanish. But in this context, if you were to translate the idea from English to Spanish, it wouldn't really matter whether you choose saber or conocer. The idea would still be clear. Great! Now let's review. When deciding whether to use saber or conocer, think of what it is that you know. If you know facts, information, or how to do something, use saber. If you know people, places, or things, use Conocer. You can use either one when speaking about an abstract idea. The best way to really grasp the use of these words is by practicing using them in conversation. Give me two sentences with each one in the comments below. If you want to further your Spanish practice and have immediate feedback from a professional, I invite you to go to Spanish55.com so you can meet with one of our coaches. Your first Skype call is on us. That's all for today, folks. Hasta la próxima, amigos. I will see you in the next video. I know of Google Pixel's buds. <laughs> I know <laughs> each one with the what?